<laughs> oh, I'm still laughing at what happened. Anyway, I got a little story that I've never mentioned on video. I actually met Gray Maynard and Nate Diaz. I met Gray Maynard when I went out to lunch with a few fighters. That guy is a class act. He is awesome. He's really, really nice. After we were finished eating, he goes, hey, you want a picture? Like, he asked me if I wanted a picture. I'm like, yeah. Met the guy. I met Nate Diaz when I went to a grappling tournament. Him and his brother, Nick, just showed up out of nowhere. No security. They just showed up. This was a UFC grappling event. They just showed up. They were getting swarmed by people. But I had an opportunity to take a picture with both of them. And they were both very nice. And Nate and Gray were both very nice. This fight was insane. But what Diaz brother fight is not insane. Okay, let's just say uh, Gray Maynard took Nate Diaz down. The fight didn't even last a minute on the ground. Gray was throwing bombs but missing. Nate, on the other hand, was landing. And he landed one perfect pinpoint accurate shot on the chin. Gray Maynard stumbled. Nate Diaz just started picking him apart. And Gray was trying to survive. He literally was out on his feet. Literally. Way too many unnecessary punches. And in the middle of all the barrage of punches, Nate Diaz does his what is up, raises his hands up in postures and just starts going at it again literally Gray is out on his feet the referee saw enough he pulled Nate off and of course Nate flexes his muscle and even though Gray Maynard was up against the cage he started stumbling and he fell listen the official decision was Nate Diaz wins first round TKO I'm telling everybody right now and if you saw the fight that was not a TKO that was a KO he was out on his feet, and also there was a beautiful throw that Nate Diaz did on Gray Maynard, but Gray Maynard immediately popped up. This was one round crazy ass fight. <laughs> That's just, <laughs> and I'm and I'm laughing because, of course, Nate Diaz got the mic, and any single time that a Diaz brother gets a mic, you gotta pay attention because you don't know what in the world is gonna happen, or what they're gonna say. And Nate Diaz, <laughs> he said, when when uh, John Anik was like, all right, here's the replay. Talk us through the, the fight. And he goes, Haha, I won. That's it. I got to go eat. Something like that. And then he goes, shout out to the mixed martial arts master, Nick Diaz. And then Nick Diaz bows. And then, hey, all you 155ers out there, that's the number 155 pounder right there. Gilbert Melendez. Gil is the fucking man, bro. And then Gilbert comes, flexes, and he goes, Hey, the guy who's going to fight Anthony Pettis for the title, Josh Thompson, my boy Gilbert beat him. So what's up? A155 pounders, we're the best in this division. Awesome, awesome post-fight interview. Crazy fight. That's all I got to say. Thank you for watching. Check out all of my other videos, and I'll catch all of you later. Why UFC fighters have messed up ears, lol. We're just getting started. We are just getting started. Next. I'm trying to do UF... Hold on. I'm trying to do UFC training.